in question one, we're given a pattern and we're told that the numbers decrease by the same amount each time. And we want to find out what are the next three numbers. Now, decrease means subtraction. So let's find out by how much the numbers are decreasing. So we can take the first number, 81, and subtract the next number, 72. So if I'm subtracting, I have to borrow 1 from the 8, which would make that 7, and the 1 would become an 11. So 11 minus 2 would be 9, and then 7 minus 7 is 0, so the answer is 9. You can verify the answer by taking the 9 and adding it now to 72 to see if you get to 81, and we do. Now let's see if the pattern holds for the next two numbers. We can take 72 and subtract 63. Once again, I got a borrow from the 7 to get a 6, and that becomes the 2 becomes a 12. 12 minus 3 is 9. And the 6 minus the 6 is 0, so again the answer is 9. So it looks like the pattern's consistent. So the pattern is take the number, subtract 9 to get the next number. Subtract 9 to get this number. So what i got to do is take 63 here, subtract 9, and that should give me the next number. So let's go ahead and do that. 63 minus 9. Again, i got to borrow. That becomes a 5, and that becomes a 13. So 13 minus 9 will be 4. And then 5 minus 0 here would be 5. So the next number would be 54. And I can write that in here, 54. Okay, let's keep going. Well, the next number would be, again, subtracting 9 to follow the pattern. Borrow from here, that becomes a 14. So 14 minus 9 is 5. 4 minus 0 is 4. So the next number would be 45. So I can stick that in here. And finally, take the 45 and subtract 9. Again, we're going to borrow, so that becomes 15. So 15 minus 9 is 6, and 3 minus 0 there is 3. So the next number here is 36. So let's look at our options and see which matches up with this that we calculated. And we can see that it looks like option A is the right answer.